Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. I'm Booger, welcome aboard. We're gonna do a little appetizer really quick. Like if you're, you're trying to do something on the fly, uh, we get a big pork tenderloin at Sam's Club. It's about this big, I swear to God. And it's like, like $13, $15. And we cut them into um, you know, sections, two pieces of steaks or pork chops. But I got two of those that I cut in cubes. I'm gonna get my air fryer ready before I get my hands dirty. Use your regular pan and uh, take uh, the paddle out, put the rack in there because you're I'm gonna be cooking with bacon so the grease is gonna go on the bottom of that. You don't want it soaking in grease. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, put this together and I'm gonna uh, at the end I'm gonna lather this with some barbecue sauce. This is um, Papa Texas gave this to me and it comes from Uncle Steve's shake. He made a uh, sauce to, for us some some of our YouTubers to try out and I got my hands on a jar so I'm gonna try it out. I'll put a link to his website down below. He's got some lovely rubs and oh my God, you have to go check it out. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, uh, I cut some onions and just leave them at the panel and then take your pork, put it inside like this. So you got a cocoon going on there. And then take the bacon, which is be nice if it goes all the way through like that. And then you take a skewer, and like so. And I'm going to put two per skewer, and we'll cook that up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I managed to fit them all in there. Like it. <laughs> Pretty tight, but it's going to work. All right, so I'm not cooking this at full blast, okay? I want that bacon cooked before the, por the pork, at least. So the pork, you got to reach uh, 145 degrees internal temperature. So I'm going to let you know how to only do that. Definitely turn the bottom burner on. If you don't have a bottom burner on your air fryer, just flip them over halfway. Get that bacon cooked all the way around. I'm going to do a number three because we're so close to the burner being on that rack. And I'll let you know how long you do that. And uh, I'll start basting at the end. Here we go. All right, you guys, let's check the temperature. It's been about 11 minutes and it's cooking up nicely. So I'm going to check the uh, internal tip of the pork here. Lots of juices. Look at that, 150. They are cooked, okay? I can use a little bit more crispy bacon in that, so I'm gonna start basting this. Uh, this is, smells so, oh my God. Mr. Steve, Monsieur Steve with the shakes, that is lovely. You could have seasoned your pork and all that stuff, but I, I wanna try the sauce. This is what I, I'm doing. So. This is my way of covering the pork so it stops cooking a little bit less, you know? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. All right, so let me finish basting this. I'm gonna do this a couple times, but I'm gonna lower the temp right now. I'm gonna turn that bottom off because the bacon looks like it's done on the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Lower it down to a two. I'll do that for about five minutes. We'll be back. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. I'm very picky about my barbecue sauces. I don't like a lot of barbecue sauce. Like I don't, I don't go crazy over that stuff. So for me to enjoy a barbecue sauce, it has to be really, really good. Uh, okay. So thank you, Papa Texas, for uh, handing this to me from Uncle Steve Shake. I appreciate it. I'm gonna put a link to Papa Texas um, on down there. I met him in person. Super nice guy. Love his videos with his granddaughter and everything. So Maddie, shout out to you. All right. Ooh, finger food. Yes. I'm gonna try to get the smallest one, okay? It's still hot, yikes. Oh, Look at that beautiful onion in there. My goodness. There's something about that onion that's so delicious with this. Mm. That is so delicious. All right. Now, sorry, this big bite. I could have done the air fryer for a blast, cooked that bacon up, because that meat cooked a lot faster than what I thought. So I would start at full blast and probably have to flip it over so the bacon, it cooks a little bit faster on top. I would check it in eight minutes though, if you're doing full blast. Um, it's, it's delicious. It's tender and stuff like that. But the bacon took longer than the meat, so that's why I'm saying that. All right. 
As for the sauce, Monsieur Steve with the shake, five friggin' stars, okay? It's got a little kick to it. It's not vinegary like some of the sauces I've tried. You could taste the herbs and spices in there. A little kick like, I'm not saying it's too hot. It's got a little kick like, let's say you put a little bit of extra pepper on something. It is delicious. So I don't know if it's on the market right now. I should have checked out before I did this. If it's not on the market, Steve, you better put it on there because it's delicious. I approve. All right, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.